This is Hurricane Aaron, and it's going to impact Florida's coastline this week. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Welcome to a Florida Minute where I, Talia, give you just around a minute of the news you missed this morning because very much something is always happening in the Sunshine State. Hurricane Aaron rapidly intensified into a Category 5 hurricane over the weekend. On Friday, Aaron became the first Atlantic hurricane of the year at 11 a.m. And just over 24 hours later, Aaron became the first Category 5 storm of the year Saturday morning with winds of 160 miles per hour. Aaron is not expected to make a U.S. landfall, but will impact Florida beaches with high surf and dangerous rip currents this week. Florida Public Radio Emergency Network meteorologist William Maxim says wind speeds inside Aaron will continue to fluctuate. Aaron's winds increased over 80 miles an hour in just a day, then decreased a little bit Sunday, and that's because Aaron went through an eyewall replacement cycle, and part of that process involves tightening the circulation and forcing the wind there to pick up speed in order to conserve angular momentum. Now, Aaron's going to continue to pulse up and down in power and remain a major hurricane through the middle of the week, then is expected to move over cooler water. Maxim says that as Aaron approaches the Florida coastline, there will be a high risk of life-threatening rip currents today from Boca Raton northward to Daytona Beach. Last year, two hurricanes reached Category 5 strength, last June's Hurricane Barrel and September's Hurricane Milton. We'll be watching Hurricane Aaron and all storms to come this hurricane season, so be sure to check back on this page for the latest updates. And you can get more Florida news on our website, cfpublic.org. 